Hi, I'm Jeff Pickles, co-founder and executive vice president of Green Grid Inc. We're a climate-focused technology development, integration, and service business for the digital transformation and decarbonization of the economy. We're headquartered in San Ramon, California. Today, we want to talk to you about remote sensing. Remote sensing, including LIDAR, multispectral, and hyperspectral imagery, is part of the origin story of GGI. We founded the company to use remote sensing and modern technologies to combat climate change, promote climate adaptation, and resiliency. We've been innovating and operationalizing these technologies for decades and develop solutions for a wide range of applications with special attention to utility power line asset and vegetation management and wildfire risk reduction. Over the years, we've developed and refined a unique and accurate LIDAR data processing system specifically for electrical power line asset and vegetation management, and we've built custom hardware and software and verified the results in the field. Our LIDAR data products are quick turnaround, high quality, competitively priced, and developed to set industry standards. We invite you to watch a short demo video that looks at the key steps of our highly specialized power line vegetation management LIDAR process that was developed in-house at Green Grid Inc. Thanks. These are the eight key steps of the GGI LIDAR process, and we're going to go through each step and show you how it's done. For collection, we select the platform, mobile, aerial, or drone, and the most modern LIDAR sensors. We often use a fixed wing wide area collection because it's cost effective and captures more data. We calibrate the raw LIDAR point cloud against ground control points to USGS and ASRPS standards. Then we create LIDAR point cloud files that are ready to use for classification and analysis. We use proprietary algorithms to automatically identify sensor noise and classify each LiDAR point into ground, vegetation, power line, pole, tower, and building. GGI has developed a custom hardware and software system for LiDAR processing. Our system automatically checks the pre-processing and creates 3D vectors for each power line catenary, point of attachment, pole, tower, and tree. Here's a quick fly-through animation of the process data. We have built up custom software to automatically find hazard trees that can grow in or fall into the power lines and structures. We produce GIS data that is attributed with a very detailed set of data, including the utilities line data and vegetation risk for each span. We believe quality is a continuous process. We use automated quality tools and checklists throughout every project. We monitor and report the quality of data and results for each batch of data, and we have proven our system with ground truth field validation using standard tools. We follow cybersecurity standards to keep your data secure over the entire project. We can deliver your data on disk or by VPN. Each delivery will follow a standard data schema and is able to be deployed on mobile devices or in the cloud. We can provide customizable data dashboards too. This is particularly useful to track inspection or vegetation management work related to LIDAR inspection results. At the completion of each project, we want to hear from you. LIDAR vegetation and asset management is cyclic work and we want to be your partner for the long run. We want to help you fully operationalize your data and we have the experience to get it done. We hope that this high level explanation of our key steps for LIDAR processing helps show how valuable a tool it is. We highly recommend that all utilities use our LiDAR solution for transmission and distribution asset and vegetation management, especially in high fire threat areas. This is equally important in areas with snow, where trees can break under the snow loading and damage the power lines and structures. Additionally, our remote monitoring and ignition detection system, Instant Situational Insights for Utilities, ICU, is a great addition to any remote sensing program to provide continuous safety monitoring of vegetation encroachment and fire. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and check out our other videos on wildfire monitoring and detection and follow us on LinkedIn. Thanks.